We just started from here. What's up? It's your boy Joe Hollywood. Another movie review. I got a special guest star in that building. ABT Songs in the building. What's up? So uh, we had to pull a little mission today. We snuck out. Caught the first show of Bad Boys. Bad, Bad Boys. Boys. What, what you gonna, gonna do? What you gonna, gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> Woo! Give me my keys. My bad. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. It's horrible. Needless to say, jokes, top to bottom. Yeah. Hilarious. Ah, uh, yeah. It definitely was. I, I I thought I was gonna have a good time and it started off kind of slow for me, but like once it really got into it, it was just like the action was there. I thought the comedy was great. Mm. I thought that Martin Lawrence's character was, was all kinds of crazy in this. I take the three in the front, you take the six in the back. I know you not. But he had a lot of good lines. All over the place. Yeah. Uh, I gotta go, you know, cinematography, they kicked it up so much. They've never failed us, but dude, yeah. it was like visual candy, kind of literally for a minute there. I got this! What you do, though? Um, loving it all day, every day. Uh, action just going through the roof. We saw the little uh, preview, the behind the scenes, how they got some of the shots. We got mm -hmm. to see what those look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I have no problem with spoilers. Probably gonna wait a couple minutes. I won't put it out day one. But yeah, yeah. We're gonna we gonna talk about the movie. Stuff, but. So that's the part. Say, yeah. If you don't want to know, just just go and skip now. Just go and scroll because we're about to talk talk about the movie. Yeah. All right, back. So uh, my first thing is this one was kind of spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it like got deep. It starts off uh, something happens to Martin's character, and then he ends up having like this spiritual awakening where he's not yeah. afraid of anything, and he starts almost like getting in guru mode for most of the movie. Yeah, uh, he flipped it though. He 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 got a little. He been kind of the timid one. They they took that. It was like, nah, man. Yeah, yeah, Boom. Yeah. But, like, what I like to do is I recognize parts that they took from other movies and stuff, and there was a lot of that going on. So I saw a little bit of Wakanda in there, you know what I'm saying? Me with the ancestors. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? I saw a little, uh, what was it, Fast it was Nine? All, there was definitely some some family Furious stuff. Nine. In there. I can trust you guys. You're my family. Like, oh, okay. man. Yeah. Well, that, and then also the, like, man, I, I, I'm invincible shit that Tyrese was doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, they it was kind they of lived, I'm saying they lived through a lot of stuff that they, they should not have lived through at all. Oh, like I mean, we, we, we go to see this for the movie. We see, we see the movie for that specifically. It was yeah. just like, oh, yeah, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. But it happened on screen, and I'm glad it happened. You know what? Amazing. I didn't have a lot of that didn't happen moments. The only one. You didn't? Uh, oh, God. A couple of the, like, getting shot through the vest type of things, but they did address it. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I'll let that go. Um, surviving some of the animal yeah. animal cameos. Uh, of, some, some of the plane cameos. Yeah. Like, okay, the, the, okay, the helicopter didn't happen. Yeah, like that. that, that I, I take it back. The helicopter, <laughs> that, there's no, <laughs> there's yeah, no way. Man. They were some X-Men stuff at that point. Like, y'all just got superhero vest on. You got Avengers. Stuff. Yeah. They should just go like Fast and Furious and just spin this off really into a whole new direction now and make them superheroes because we there. We yeah, are. we pretty much are. Yeah, uh, I love the cameos. A lot of familiar faces popping in. And yeah, out. They, they popped in a lot of people that that were in previous movies that came mm -hmm. back. Like some, even some of those that were in three came mm -hmm. back on this one. Uh, uh, I don't want to give a spoiler, but there was another. Oh, we're spoiling. Go ahead. Let's well, go. There we're was spoiling. A, there was a rapper in there that had done a song about Will that showed up, and I was like, oh snap, he got that's his dope, moment. Yeah. And you know what? There's there's more. You should tell him about another one. It was another <laughs> cameo. <laughs> there was definitely another one in there. Uh, it was in the last your movie. Your girl, your girl Sorry, was in there. Which one? I was happy to see her. You, you, Haddish. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yo, T. Haddish. Shout out to T. Haddish. Comedy. She did a great job. She had like a short little five minute scene and she like chewed yeah. the whole scene with that scene. Yeah. Like, man, I had not seen her like that before. She was, she was good. And this is a spoiler that I got ahead of time. Like people think, oh, I'm just going to give a little hint. It's not going to spoil. I be seeing stuff. I see what you said. I know what's going to happen now because of you. I'm not going to call your name. But they just said Reggie stole the show. And I was like, you know what? It didn't spoil it too much, yeah, but yeah, yeah, no, he shout out to my man Reggie. Right. Reggie's storyline is one of the greatest <laughs> storylines. Who the fuck is Reggie? The best movie scene ever. Easily the best scene in Bad Boys. My too. favorite Will Smith scene from Bad Boys Two. Who the f are you? I'm Mr. Burnett. I'm Reggie. Key. How old are you? Fifteen, Mr. Burnett. Mother, f you look dirty. Nope. When that gun comes out, I just got out of jail and I ain't going back. That's the first time that kid is seeing it. You ain't never seen a gun before. I'm a big old, tall, no. ludicrous-looking mother. Thank you. 
it only took what three movies before he finally got a chance to shine, and he's been like yeah. low key, like laying back the whole time. This movie, he popped off and showed out. My man was playing Call of Duty all the, the whole all game, time. the whole freaking he spent movie, the whole pandemic playing Call of Duty, and then playing in real time. life. Like, my man, man, you 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 up, you next up. Yeah, we keep an eye on you, bro. I will say this. For for me, this is look. We're we're movie files. We watch right, this stuff. Movie. So I saw like when I saw a certain character on screen, my first thought was like, oh, that's probably one of the bad guys. But they did have some good twists and turns there that I was like, okay, either the, either the way they presented it was unexpected, or it's like, oh, that's a different angle I anticipated, even though I knew it was gonna be this particular person. So yeah. I did appreciate that. Like there was, it, it wasn't so predictable that you that you would like be guessing it right away and being spoiling yourself. Um, so I, but yeah. it's, it's good foreshadow. You want that in the script where you want to kind of, if you're thinking in that lane, start to put the pieces together. Yeah. And then when you see the reveal, you're like, oh yeah, that's what I, you know what I'm saying? So to me, that's still a good thing. Yeah. It's when it's too obvious that you're like, come on, man. Like just, yeah. you just, as soon as, soon as they show up, you're like, oh, you the bad guy, you the bad guy. Never ah. Like that's, that, that's bad. But yeah, this yeah. they did a good job. We enjoyed it. Great job. I also like that if they paid homage to like, because I mean, uh, Jerry Bruckheimer and I keep reading his name, uh, Bay. Bay, Michael no, Bay, Bay, like originally directed this stuff, right? So he had a little cameo in there, just like he had one in the last movie. But I like that they they, they paid He's homage to someone. He, well, no, the last one he was at the he was at the uh, the, the uh, wedding or some mm, some reception thing, yeah. Right, right. But in this one, like I like even like they do some of the shots that that he used to do, like the the pan around mm -hmm. shot, a lot of the sepia tone shots of the city were there, yeah. the fast pace, like so this actually felt more like a Michael Bay movie in terms of some of the shots. Mm -hmm. Like, I know the same guys from the last one shot this one, but in the last one, I didn't feel as, as though they had as many shots as, like that. And this one, they, they really... You gotta do the ear like, shot. They catch the little... Yep, the colors. A lot of you gotta see where there's, like, all the neon colors shots. happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they... I, the, dude, the one shot where they were um, running up and down, and you should see them, like, the, yeah. the shots flying around. I was like, that was, that was like a good, like, 30-second shot. That was mm -hmm. just nonstop. No, they're no... Because, like, you remember in uh, 2, I always say 2 was my favorite. They wasn't feeling me on that one, but... And I two, it was that big, long, like, roundabout yes, shot that yes. they do. So you in my house? This is all your fault. Now, you're in my country, though. Fuck you, I'm not. I'm going to kill you, motherfucker. Fuck you, my ass. Fuck you. Fuck you. So, to me, this time, it was um at the, the art thing. Mm, that was yeah, the equivalent. Yeah. They were just, it was just beautiful colors everywhere and just all kind of stuff. And it was just like, oh, my God, all this violence going on around, all this beautiful, shiny, pretty. Yeah. It was dope. It was dope. No, it does not disappoint. It does not at all. Yeah, they brought a they brought a son back from the last one, so he's in this, and and it's like you know the whole thing of like you know standard movie thing of oh the bad guy in the last one is now trying to be somewhat good in this one. It's fine. Yeah, it worked for me here. He, he got us. He got you know he got to get his, his moment to shine in this and stuff. So I, yeah, I had a really good time. Like I have no complaints. I want to see the next one be the son and Reggie teaming up, and huh. they take the franchise. I don't know how you yeah. make it make sense. Cause like what I mean. Martin, I got you. Martin Will and the 50s, they're about, they about to be in the geriatric home trying to do this real talk. Cause like they, I mean, they should become the mentors, you know. They be they be the Captain Howard now. Yeah. Probably Martin. Martin be the new Captain Howard. Yeah. And then Will, I don't know, we just let him appear. They just okay. write him in at the end. He make a little cameo yeah. or whatever. And now that like Vanessa Hudgens and the other the white True. dude have been in a couple of these movies, they could, it could be those two and then like his Emo, son come, come the back and then Reggie, they be got four people right there. Look, you got a new movie. That's five. So I'd actually probably change the name, but be like it's a derivative of Bad Boys. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if y'all know the Gabrielle Union. Oh, with LA's Finest? Jessica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but they had a little spinoff show. Fletcher was in that. Was he? Yeah. I don't know that. So they kind of tied it in with a couple okay. of people. Um, I honestly was hoping they would bring them into it because Gabrielle was established. So I was like, that'd I be cool. I keep waiting to bring back Tia Leone, personally. True. The first one. Like, where's she True. been at this whole time? But It's, it's a couple cameos that would have been cool to see, but it's still, it was a good time. It was a good time. Yeah, so definitely highly recommend it. Definitely go see mm -hmm. it this weekend if you can because it is, you will, it will not disappoint. I'll probably end up seeing it again because it was that definitely. good. Like, we, I have no problem seeing this one again. So definitely. So, look, all I'm going to say is don't tell nobody we saw it though because we're supposed to wait. Supposed to wait we just like, we don't want to see it. We don't So just keep that low. Are y'all still in our clothes? Just because we black, we still in your shit? Mm -hmm. What? Look at your shirt. Why don't you sing us a little Reba song? Oh, uh -huh. Reba. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Mm -mm -mm. That ain't no Reba song. It's from her mixtape. Bad Boys, rated R, now playing. Bad Boys, ride or die, out now. now.